live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Live shot in Lawrence on Town Square. Partly sunny skies right now. Temperatures not too bad in the low 80s. I'll show you the temperatures in just a second. Outside right now, you can see on live Super Doppler 4 HD, scattered showers and even some thunderstorms forming in Henderson County and a few showers back into northeastern Georgia. All these showers and thunderstorms continue to make their way off to the southeast at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. We'll zoom on in. First, western North Carolina. These showers actually developed this afternoon in through the mountains of North Carolina. They're starting to slide down into the foothills. We had a very heavy shower move over you folks in uh, Morganton. That's sliding off now into the s southern to the south of you folks. And then uh, another heavy shower over Rutherfordton and also another one back in Lake Lure. A couple of cells and then this thunderstorm has just developed over the last few minutes now. Uh, very close and especially just west of Hendersonville. A lot of lightning associated with this one. So you could see lightning, very heavy rain, maybe some gusty winds and maybe even some small hail. Not expecting anything severe. A heavier shower now just off to the north and northwest of Brevard. And this is going to slide down into Brevard, so get ready for some brief heavy rain. Rain shower in Rosman right now. Cashiers just off to your southeast and moving away from you. Northeastern Georgia and Rabin County. A heavy shower here in the west central part of Rabin County in northeastern Georgia. Official high today, 81 degrees, exactly where it should be for this time of the year. 77 was our high this afternoon at the Asheville Regional Airport, just a couple of degrees above the average, and the low of 58 degrees, 6 degrees above the average. So a nice and warm throughout outside of the mountains, as you can see, cooling down with the showers through especially most of North Carolina. Uh, as far as the winds, gusty near some of those thunderstorms, otherwise winds fairly light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Humidity only 36 percent in Greenville, so notice where most of the moisture is. That's where we've had the showers and the thunderstorms developing through North Carolina and back into Rabin County. So as these thunderstorms come off the mountains and into the upstate, it's not going to move into a very favorable environment as far as intensification with these thunderstorms. Uh, but there's still at least a little bit of moisture in there and a fairly unstable just because of the fact that we're so warm. 80 in Greenville, 83 right now in Columbia. It's 80 in Macon, 81 degrees in Charleston, but it's 61 in Greensboro. So let's cool air up to our north and to our northwest. Temperatures, look at these 60s, way below average for this time of the year. We're talking the middle of May here, and this cool air is going to drive right down the eastern slopes of the mountains. So here's tomorrow morning. Showers, most of the rain will be to our south and to our east, as you can see. But as we go through the day, northeast wind picks up speed in throughout the upstate with a few isolated patchy areas of rain across the area. The cooling trend really starts tomorrow afternoon and continues through Friday. Scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm low 62. Isolated showers in the mountains, low temperature 56, and a thunderstorm over the next hour or two. Tomorrow, scattered showers, northeast winds picking up speed, so low 80s for highs today. Only low 70s for highs tomorrow. Upper 60s in the mountains with off and on rain showers, a 50% chance. Cooling trend to continue. The really cool air gets here tomorrow night and especially on Friday. As you can see, highs only in the low 60s and that breeze out of the northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour will make it feel even cooler than the actual highs. That's our best chance of rain will be on Friday. It should be fairly light, light rain drizzle type almost autumn-like weather, but then we warm back up and looks like most of this rain might be out of here by most of the weekend, which will be good news.